Yo, what's up guys? Quick update on Sandbox. As you can see, we are currently trading around $5.23 actually. And obviously we did this huge short trap right here below the support area around $4.65. You can see it right here, guys. We've been holding the support area quite strong. Then someone pushed the price down to about $4.42. And you can see it right here, guys. All the big players bought definitely this range right here between $4.40 to about $4.60. And right now we are currently up from this support area around 19% already. So I actually took a 50% position size long at this area right here on $4.78 and called it also my Discord chat. I can show it to you right here, guys. As you can see, I took a long swing position with a risk reward ratio of about 1 to 2, took a 50% entry around $4.78. And I was expecting maybe a sell off to about $3.52. That's why I only took a 50% long position for um uh, sorry, around $4.78 because I was planning, like I said, to make a, a long swing trade on um, Sandbox. And yeah, my take profit, my first take profit target will be reached around $5.39. It's yeah, ne nearly reached right here in this, in this candle. Maybe we'll have to wait another couple of hours until my first take profit target is reached. And right now I'm just taking my stop loss back to my break even point where I entered my trade around $4.78. And if you're also interested, guys, definitely check out my Patreon community links down below in the description to get all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit points. So... Right now, for the immediate short term, I think as long as we are trading in this range between $4.65 to about $5.70, guys, everything is still looking fine for Sandbox. And as you can see, we are still able to hold this huge, most significant support around $4.65. I think we will most likely reach in the next couple of hours this huge resistance right here around $5.60 again, guys. You can see it right here. Uh, we have a lot of resistance. Sandbox did not manage to break it already for a couple of times. But I can tell you also from the technical perspective, guys, that there's more often we are retesting this resistance. The higher the probability that we will see a confirmed breakout because the selling pres pressure is getting less and less at this area right here. And I think if we are retesting this area again, there's definitely a very high possibility that we will see maybe a confirmed breakout above $5.60. And I also marked this uh, area already as a bull trap area because, like I said, guys, watch out for confirmed breakout. Don't be one of these breakout chasers right here who are not who are very greedy and who are not patient enough to uh, wait until we are seeing a confirmed breakout. That's why if we are reaching $5.60 again, watch out that we are able to hold it successfully as a new support. And then maybe you can consider to make another breakout trade. Uh, to about six dollars and seventy cents or seven dollars for example and yeah guys that's what i'm expecting right now i think we will most likely reach five dollars and sixty cents in the next couple of hours if also bitcoin is showing some kind of momentum and then we have to see how we will react to this resistance area and yeah in the weekly time frame guys you can see that we are still trading in a very nice run-up everything is still looking fine for sandbox like i said we are still holding this huge support around four dollars and sixty cents and i'm still very bullish on sandbox for the immediate short term and I will definitely keep you updated maybe in a couple of hours if we are seeing some price action from Sandbox around $5.60. That was the quick update for Sandbox, guys. If you're enjoying these type of videos, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.